Kambangwa Minasan Chronicle Desk. Okay, I am going to go through about the new information for tomorrow updates. And first thing first is Kaleto after class job with Kaigan Laser Level 20, which means new skill. And for his other job skill changes, and there isn't any changes for these two skills. And for the third skill, it adds extra, counter attack resistance, gradient down, plus dual cost, gradient increase, and it increases the rate as well when the enemy has blast status. Plus the skill power increase, and after skill, he can actually move around the map. And also, if the enemy has blast status, the skill power increase plus his evasion rate greatly increase until he receives any one attack. Okay, so basically it's almost a permanent buff. And he will have this Russia skill power up for two turns. Basically, he can use this Russia ability for two turns. And next is about this four skill. Instead of AOE plus become diamond. Yeah, so this is not really that bad upgrade, especially he will be using this skill during auto sometimes. Yeah. And for this fifth skill, he will force the enemy target towards him, plus accuracy, grade it down, speed down for three turns. And also rash ability power up for two turns. Yeah, so this is not bad, especially for PBB, but I am not really that sure he will be using this skill during auto or not. And for the rest of the skills, main skill or sub skills, there isn't any changes. And next is about the rush ability, no changes. And then for this one, it increases the animation rate. I think it becomes 100% animation. Okay, this is counter attack, AOE. And for the second one, as you can see, super power up. And I think there isn't any changes for this rush ability. Yeah, same as the old one. And he added as well, this two Rush APT. For this Rush APT, he will activate before the enemy's attack, and it is counter attack, plus dual regen for one turn on himself. And if the target has any best status, the skill power increase, plus dex ready reduce for one turn. Yeah, this is quite good. And if you activate the ration power up, this rush ability will activate as well. And the enemy will have strong brand status plus fire resistance down for one turn. Yeah, and this will also activate before the enemy's attack. And both of them shooting range is 6. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, so just imagine low dex, brand status, low accuracy. But of course, if the enemy has status immune or debuff resistance or immune, it will be useless, so beware. And there isn't any changes for the support ability. And for the other ability, master ability, for Watatsumi units, they will have physical attack plus 10%, dex 10%, evasion 5%. Yeah, not so bad. And I think there isn't any changes for the fifth gate upgrade. Yeah, but it's still very good. Building disable status with the debuff. Yeah. And next is about his Kaigan laser and it increased his dex for level 20, okay. And for this new skill, it is AOE dual damage. Yeah, not HP damage, so beware. With very strong versus the wind and also support disable status for 3 turns with fire resistance, blind resistance, chain combination gradient down, okay. And also greatly increase his evasion for one turn. Plus, it will activate this skill automatically. And then, he will target Probos the enemies. Plus, accuracy down, speed down. And also, he himself will have strong versus the wind buff. Plus, his special ability has power up for two turns. Yeah, so this is very nice, very good. And I think he might be using this skill during auto. Yeah. And the moving range is 8. Super far. AOE is 5 times 5. Super big. And the target purple is, I think it's 9 times 9 diamond. Yeah, super big. Diamond 4. Okay, next is about the character adjustment for Nimu. What the heck? 
Nimue is already so powerful. And then with this massive adjustment. Interesting. Yeah, really interesting. I will go through one by one. And first thing first is... This is from his normal main skill, Fire Form. And this is his most powerful skill attack. Skill usage in Crystal 5. Inner Defense Shield. Okay. And then if he has got cut status, the enemy will have got down. And if his HP is 100%, this skill will activate. Huh? <laughs> And for this skill, I think it's his last skill attack. Skill power increase, skill usage increase. If he has Kaka status, he will inflict a Kami Crush. Plus, also increase his shooting attack for one turn before the skill. Huh? <laughs> okay, this is not the end. For the last skill, he will automatically using this skill during auto, if you on, and also fully recover his HP. Oh, he finally can auto change into his light form. Oh, very nice. And for the light form main skill, this one I think is his first skill. If he has Kaka status, he will reduce the enemy guards by 100 for one turn before the skill attack. So basically, he can penetrate guard status. Okay. For the second skill, I think it's his most powerful skill attack. And then skill power increase. Skill usage increase. If he has Kaka status, I can be crush. And also remove unique lock. Very nice. <laughs> what is this? And this skill, I think is his last skill attack. I think it's AOE attack. Skill usage increase, okay. Enough defense and shield, also very nice. And if he has got cut status, the enemy will have got down, okay. And if his HP is 100%, this skill will activate just like this one. Okay, this is also very nice. And next is about this sub skill. It will increase his physical and measure attack 2.5 for 3 times, I think. Yeah, not so bad. And lastly is his support ability. Further increase maximum HP up. And also add that as well. Physical attack, magic attack, strong versus all scenes. Okay. And maximum HP time to for 5 turns from the start. Okay. And increase his shooting attack, magic attack, time to plus move and jump plus to when his HP is 100%. Okay. And also greatly increase his speed. When his HP is less than 50%, okay. And also increase reaction block to 5 times from the start. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ultimate! <laughs> this is so ultimate. I really think that Nimu has other job changes. Yeah, really. I don't know why. I find that he has super power. Okay, this is not the end. There are more changes for his mementos and gear. For this mementos, before fully max, he added extra 100% hit. If he has Kaka status, it will permanently increase his maximum HP by 7,500. And also, if his HP is 100%, this skill will activate. And also, remove cast time, instant cast. If I am not wrong, this skill is AOE skill attack. And if fully max break, it increase to 10k. But the problem is, without max break, it's already very good overall. Okay, next is this gear. Instead of 3 turns, become 5 turns for the status resistance. And also add the extra defense versus all sins. Plus, rebellion effect for 5 turns. Basically, his... Reaction ability is 100% animate no matter what. And also very good against all dragon. Yeah, since he has strong versus all sins and defense versus all sins. Yeah, dragon killer. And next is about this armor. It adds extra if his HP is less than 50%, defense versus all sins and be stacked. And then I think this is Kaleto Vision Clear Award armor. 
and then it adds ra evasion up. Okay, better than nothing actually. And next is Shinli no Kefu level four. For Kuleto, Lemme, and Felin, it adds ra HP slash physical attack, pierce resistance. Okay. For Nimu and Emma, HP shooting attack, magic attack. Yeah, if you guys really have extra shots for these two creator, go for it. Yeah, just go for it. Same goes to this group. Just fully max. The end. And next is about this new limited mementos. Very good. Please get these mementos. Die Die must get. Really must get. Yeah, trust me, must get. Everybody must get. And this mementos is very good for all Shadow Messiah. Include Zen. And it will increase slash magic and shooting attack for traitors. Whole map. Okay. And for the max break bonus, it become time two. Okay. But the problem is buff term plus one. Very good. This is for mill units, Zaha, Niguru, and Zen. And this is for female units. Pika, Ila, Shiluma, Mia. Those creator. Yeah, so try to fully max these mementos for the sake of buff term plus one. So that this will become four turns instead of three turns. And for Zaha, some of the skill, I think it's only three turns or one turn. Become two or four turns. And for Niguru, the evasion rate become two turns instead of one turn. And same goes to Shiruma and speaker buff. Really very good. <laughs> Okay, next is about Vision Girl Award. Also very good. Weapon ability. For all Shadow Messiah units plus Lonely Robros, it will increase physical attack, magic attack, dex plus 250. Can be stacked. So like for example, if your party member is for Shadow Messiah units, it will increase by 1k. With friend, 1.25. For 5 turns or 6 turns. So basically, Zaha, even higher damage. Niguru, even higher damage. Pika, even higher damage, and so. And this is not the end. The status increase. Increase slash shooting attack, magic attack, non type attack, dual regen, reduce cast time. Very good for Zaha. Really very good. I think this dual regen can be stacked with his weapon. And then for the group leader skill for this mementos, it increase physical attack, magic attack, and speed. Yeah, basically just increase attack power. And lastly is Shinli no Kefu level 4 for speaker and Shiluma. It add extra HP up, flash attack, and counter attack. Okay, not bad. Okay, so this will be the end of the information. And I really mean it. Please get this mementos and I will get this mementos. Yeah, everybody, please get these mementos. I will get as well. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. See ya, Sanara.